Capital Sci-Fi Con is a not-for-profit convention, so we're making no money from it, and we're giving all the money to the Children's Hospice Association of Scotland. Um, we did a, to, uh, a toy drop-off two years ago at one of the hospices that uh, Chaz or, uh, runs, uh, which was Rachel House, and we were so taken aback by how amazing the families were that were there, as well as the staff, uh, that we decided we were going to do another toy drop-off in December there, um, and we also decided that we wanted to do something a bit more substantial. So we, well, I came up with the idea um, of the, the organising the Capital Sci-Fi Con event, um, and we started organising it seven months ago. So it's been seven months in the plan to put it in place. Even a convention of this size, it's still quite a thing to pull together. So how did you find that, and, and how did you go about it? Well, again, it, to me, it was getting a good location, so something that was central to town that people could get buses, trains, cars, etc. Um, and obviously the accessibility as well, so we didn't want to maybe have any limitations for disabled access or anything like that, so the whole venue uh, caters for everybody. Um, and then that's something that's often forgotten about. Exactly, yeah, and yeah. That, that was the key point in my mind. Obviously because we're doing this for Chaz, um, I had to think about, okay, so we need good access for people to be able to get into yeah. um, and obviously the, the size of the venue we didn't want to be compact that people were crushed in we wanted big aisle space so people could move around freely they weren't getting stressed out because there was too many people in um, and, and the, just the venue is amazing the uh, only thing is it closes at the end of this year for refurbishment right. but when it reopens it's going to be absolutely amazing and we're yeah. going to really look forward to coming here we're going to have this as our home uh, each year yeah. um, for next year, uh, we've had a contact from the Royal Highland Showground okay, uh, who want to help us out. Um, so if they can help us, again, that's another massive venue. Um, and it just means that we can bring more to the show. So why, why sci-fi in particular? Is it that just you're a big fan and you thought, how do you tie it in with, with what well, you Well, I've been a member of the Rebel Legion, which is a good guy's Star Wars costuming group for the last six years, which again is a not-for-profit group. Um, we travel around all the conventions in the UK, been over to Germany, um, and uh, that's where my love, my love is with Star Wars, but with the costume inside of things, that's why it was all focused on the sci-fi inside yeah. of things. I mean, you're talking about in Germany, and the scale of that is probably a much, much bigger thing, Yeah, it? well it was Celebration Europe that I went across for, so it was the big Lucasfilm event. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was absolutely massive. Um, obviously the venue here at Medibank Stadium, it's quite a big venue, we've got the two largest halls, so our, our hall one is for our traders, um, our guest signers, and we've also got a retro gaming centre in there. Hall two has got all our props in there, our costumers, our stage, our section for the Jedi Academy, uh, we've also got Blaster Trooper in there, we've got the Owl display team in there, um, and we've also got the company game that are doing the 3D, uh, 3D reality uh, yeah. gaming, uh, so you put the headset on. So. So yeah, for the, the Jedi Academy that you were mentioning as well, because that's actually got um, the, the, the man who was Liam Neeson's stunt double that's uh, right. in The Phantom Menace. That's yeah. correct, yeah. yeah. So Andrew Lawden, he does fight academies at all the different conventions he goes to, so yeah, he's, he's doing the, the Jedi Fight Academies yeah, here. Which is great. I mean, yeah. I mean did, you, did you get him to uh, audition for the role? To no, 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 uh, no. I, 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 obviously, I'd seen that he was doing the Jedi Academies, um, and I knew that he'd been shown all the moves and everything on the set, the Phantom Menace, uh, and I just thought it'd be a good addition to bring along to the Capital Sci-Fi. Yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic thing. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, what have you got lined up for the Sunday then? Well, the Sunday is pretty much exactly everything that you see here on Saturday. You're going to get on the Sunday as well. Uh, so, we've got the Jedi Academies. We've got the full panel talks all weekend. We've got the photo shoots all weekend. We've got all our traders here. We've got all our costumers. Uh, we've got the Blast the Trooper. We've still got the Owl displays. We've got the Iron Man display unit. So absolutely everything that you've seen on the website, everything that's here today is going to be here tomorrow as well. Uh, all our guest signers will still be here. Um, everybody might be a little bit groggy tomorrow morning because we've got our meal with the stars this evening. Um, so people have paid for tickets to come along to the event, uh, sit at tables with the guests and talk about the films that we've been in. So, oh, fantastic. Yeah. That, that sounds, yeah. <laughs> sounds, sounds worth coming along yeah, for it's going to be awesome. yourself. Um, been really happy with the ticket sales for pre-ticket sales uh, was 1300 ticket sales for our visit at first event yeah. uh, but as I've been going backwards and forwards around the venue all day there's been a lot of people buying tickets on the door as well yeah. uh, we were hoping to raise around 25,000 for the charity 
um, and I think we should do that. Well, so I'll be really great. happy. Yeah, that's a great result. Yeah, I'll be result. really happy with that. Yeah. Fantastic. And, um, you know, thanks so much for talking to us about this. It's it's, uh, no it's a great cause and, and yeah, it's, it's a great event. It's uh, been a lot of fun. Yeah, we'll keep your eyes open, okay, because yeah. we'll be coming back bigger and better in the future. Um, and again, it'll all be not for profit, so it'll all be going to charity. Yeah. We'll be here, hopefully. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks. Cheers.